Hello there, my name is Steve from Blue Anchor Leisure. I've set this video up today to assist people with shutting down their holiday home and getting it ready for the winter. Parks now are starting to close up uh, and I want to give you the best advice that I know and my customers have used previously to make sure you're ready to shut your caravan down and get ready for the winter ahead and obviously giving you the best start for the new season. So I'm going to run through a few methods with you now that I've learned along the way and have helped my previous customers out. So uh, I've just spent around about £10 in one of the local shops um, and I'll go through the bits and bobs I've just bought now and we'll show you how to use them to make it best for yourself. So on my shopping list I had containers, doesn't need to be any particular container but I bought the cheapest ones in there. The nine of the uh, medium foil containers which you tend to get a Chinese in, I think there's about a pound. I've got some cable ties just there as well, some cat litter, some swing bin liners that have got a smell to them some of the interior dehumidifiers, and then finally some washing powder. All of, all of, like I've just said, have come to the cost of just short of 10 pounds. I'll run through now with them, how I use them to uh, get your caravan ready for the winter. So I'm in one of the caravans. This is a brand new caravan, so um, I'll go through this one now. All caravans are pretty much the same. Getting ready for the winter is exactly the same no matter the holiday home, make, size, or anything like that. So, what I've got here is, first of all, the cat litter. Again, picked it up for a couple of quid down at the shop. What I'll do, tip, pour the cat litter into one of the, uh, the Chinese takeaway trays. Doesn't have to be any specific cat litter, it's just one that's absorbent. Then what I'll do, get the cheap washing powder, pour that in with it, fill them up to the top, Mix it round. What that will do, it'll absorb the moisture and it'll leave the caravan smelling nice and fresh. So when you come back in the new season, everything will be smelling nice and fresh. This cut, I've got nine of these trays, so I'll just distribute them around the holiday home so they're in the best places to absorb moisture. That's the cat litter and that out of the way. Next up is the dehumidifying things you can buy from the hard store. A lot of people use these. I think they're crap. So what I tend to do with them is just chuck them away. Don't bother with them, I think they're rubbish. Next up is the smelly fragrant bin liners, or swing bin liners, they're the smaller ones, so it's not a full size bin liner. But the reason I've got these is because what you do with these, just get it all unwrapped, bear with me. What you'll do, undo it, and with your curtains, now some people take the curtains home, you can either take your curtains home, so it's lovely and fresh, or, Get your curtain, put it inside the liner. And once that's in there, what that will do, it will stop any mildew or anything like that getting on the back of the curtains. And with you having the fragrance, fresh ones, what it'll do, it'll leave them nice and fresh for it again when you come back in the winter. And then I use the cable tie just to tie that up so they stay nice and fresh within the unit. So next up is the fridge and the freezer. Now, everyone knows how smelly a fridge and freezer can get if it's left too long, because um, obviously it vacuums the moisture in so it stays there. What I would tend to do, piece of cardboard or even a cloth, and just leave the fridge ajar so the airflow can get into the fridge as well. That's the, uh, another tip for you. Next up, really simple one, but it's making sure that all the windows throughout the holiday home are all locked and secure, making sure that anyone that is wanting to break in, it's harder for them to get in. Then we look at the doors, make sure all the doors are open, allowing for a decent airflow to run throughout the holiday home, making sure you know that the, the area is nice and clean. I would always recommend cleaning your holiday home down. The last thing you want is food or bits and bobs being left in the holiday home over the winter period. Um, you want to come back and everything be nice and fresh and ready for the spring season. Next up is cushions and pillars. So these are the pillars off the back of the seating area in the living room. I would always recommend piling them up in the middle of the room, again, making sure there's a nice airflow throughout the holiday home over the close season. If you don't and you leave them against the walls, what tends to happen, you'll get some mildew or some mold on the back of the seating area, and over time that will become smelly. No one wants a smelly caravan. So that's pretty much the living area. Now what we'll do is we'll head through a little bit further into the holiday home. So we come through into the shower room. I'd always recommend getting the shower and taking the hose off the shower and putting it down, making sure there's no water left in there and it's ready for a close down. 
I'd also recommend getting in an approved contractor to maybe look at um, winterizing the holiday home. So what they'll do is they'll drain it down. Most companies tend to use a big air compressor and what they'll do, they'll blow water through the pipes, making sure that all the air on all the water, sorry, is out of the pipes, making sure you're not left with damages. Because what basically happens if you've got water in the pipes, as most of you will know, it freezes, ice expands, and then it will blow the pipes. You come back in the new season and then you've got an issue. Now, obviously this is a brand new mattress, so there's not much need for this to happen, but I'll do it anyway. Again, move the mattresses in between the bed. So again, there's no uh, mattress stuck against the wall. Again, allowing for better airflow. I'd do the same with the um, curtains in here. I'd make sure that the curtains in here are tied up as I did within the living area. All the electrics should be switched off, although the site will probably close them down as well. Do not think about leaving electrical goods, i.e. TVs and stuff like that, out of the way of the beds or putting them in the wardrobe because what that does, it just gives you more of an issue or more of a reason to sit home thinking, oh God, I hope no one's broken and nicked the TV. All curtains should be left open, allowing if you do have anyone looking to, to break in. Now, what they tend to do, if they can look through the window, clearly, and they can see that there's nothing in there, they've got no reason to break in. If they see that the curtains are short, they'll think, well, what they're trying to hide, um, and then they may break in. Most sites, our sites do anyway, we have full security over the winter season, um, for obviously best for our, for our customers, but some sites might not be as, uh, as prepared as what we are. Now I'll head outside the, the van and show you a few bits out there. Again, it's always good to do your checks, make sure from the outside of the van, all the windows are all secure. Another great tip as well is making sure that your gutters are free from any debris, free from any um, plants or, or any, any leaves or anything like that that might be stuck in there. Because what that will do, it will make the, the it'll clog up the, uh, the drain pipes and stuff like that. And the water will only have one way to go and it may go up and inside the holiday home. So do a full check of the holiday home making sure, as I say, all windows and doors are all closed. Perfect. And then you are ready for the new season. New season, most people will just disconnect the water. So when you come down in the new season, it's just a case of making sure your water is connected and switched on. And that is it. That is my close down. My name's Steve. I'm from Blue Ankle Leisure. And hopefully you found uh, everything that I've just told you of use please share it tag your friends uh, and like this post if you found it uh, useful thanks ever so much for watching if you are closing down have the best uh, break over the uh, winter period and if you're on one of our parks i shall see you in the new year thanks for watching folks take care bye bye